Hey guys, so today we're going to set up a Ledger Nano S with Electrum instead of Ledger Live. Uh, as we all know, there are two kinds of wallets. There are hot wallets and there are cold wallets. Hot wallets like Blue Wallet, like Wallet of Satoshi or Moon Wallet, they reside on our phones and they have connectivity to our internet. On the other hand, cold wallets like this Ledger or Treasure, they always have an air gap with the internet. They personally cannot connect to the internet or broadcast transactions. Uh, they have the only purpose of a cold wallet is to fundamentally store our private keys, right? And they can sign our transactions. So when we want to make a transaction, we have to use a software like uh, Bitcoin CLI or a Ledger Live or the Electrum wallet uh, to create the transaction and then sign our transaction using the Ledger and finally broadcast the signed transactions to the network, right? So it's a little bit of work to get set up there and I have never done this earlier. So let's just hop onto it and uh, let's just start. So as you can see, I'm on my desktop and uh, this is the the support article that has been come up from the ledger.com's website and it just has a step-by-step -step guide uh, a word of caution though i'm not on a windows machine it's a linux machine so uh, anyway the after the installation the other parts of the tutorial would be would be seen so installing is uh, very straightforward on an arch based thing so you can just do yay electrum i guess and we have found out that there is this Electrum wallet. We can give our password and yeah, so we are we have installed Electrum. Next up, we would have to connect it to the Ledger device. So I have my Ledger over here and how the Ledger connects to a computer is via USB cable, right? So I'm quickly going to connect the end one end over here with the ledger and the other end to my computer right and as you can see it it has just glowed up and it's asking me for my pen right i'm going to give it my pen when we set the ledger up so now i can get rid of it and it just says connect and unlock the ledger device okay so i have to give my pen all right, so I've given my pen and now I'm into the main menu. So it says that I have to open the Bitcoin app and we can just do it. It just says Bitcoin is ready. So if you have a ledger, you might know that there are two keys on the top. And if you hold on to both of them, you just select the specific option that you are on. And it just had shown me the Bitcoin app. This is a pre-configured uh, ledger. I have uh, I, I used uh, the Windows machine that I had earlier to configure the ledger. So anyway, we can just now launch Electrum. And it says that the wallet doesn't exist. So it, it okay, leave the, de leave the default wallet name. Uh, I will probably give it the name of ledger. And next, standard wallet and use a hardware device. So yeah, it, it says that there are no devices detected on Linux. We might have to add some new permissions. So I'm pretty sure if you are on Linux, you will get a similar error. I'm quickly going to fix this error off screen and going to come back. All right, so I think I found something. So Ledger officially has this GitHub repository called UDEV rules. And in there, there's this add UDEV rules.sh command. I have pretty much faith in this specific uh, shell script. So I'm just going to quickly copy it and you know, just run it over here. So I'm just going to paste it in, uh, in a just test.sh and paste it change mod sex so this makes the command the, the specific file executable and wow so it needs sudo i guess i'm 
and yeah so i think it's done after this i can just do a re scan huh so it, it still says it cannot find let me re rethink all right guys so i found the solution basically uh what you actually have to do is like there is i found this wonderful gist i'll link it in the description and you know since i was using arch linux i had to add these specific lines and you know and after it i just plugged out the ledger and restarted the ledger and it, it just it, it just got detected which sounds pretty nice and now it, it says that ledger nano so I'm, I'm quickly going to uh, restart it and do it again in front of you so in the bitcoin wallet i'm just going to make the name ledger and i just want a started wallet and i have a hardware device and this time it's going to select the uh, it's going to find the de device ledger nano s and it's initialized so i'm just going to go next and it's it's now telling to choose the type of addresses in our wallet and let's just come back to this specific guide over here and we have to just choose the right derivation path so i remember that i i always use the native segwit variant so i'm just going to have it and uh, probably i i'm i'm pretty sure this is the derivation path it uses by default and uh, if you know about wallets and keys so uh, this derivation path is basically the way to create a address uh, to create a public key and private key pair and the 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 specific thing the apostrophe indicates apostrophe or h indicates that that specific path is hardened and uh, this specific this is the way you create a address and this is basically bip84 uh, implementation of it so i'm just going to go next and i'm i think it's going to find something so it it has uh, the wallet file right now and it says that we have to set wallet file encryption and yeah and now it's synchronizing which is great right and yeah i'm quickly going to blur this stuff out of course because there are a lot of transactions that i have done and i don't want to leak it but if you go over here to send uh, you can you can now create a specific transaction and have it broadcast so i am going to get uh, i have i have a wallet i have a bitcoin wallet on my phone uh, it's a bit it's from bitcoin beach so i'm quickly going to grab the specific address the bitcoin address and i'm going to paste it over here so i have my address over here and i can just paste it onto my electrum wallet right and it i can give it some description it really doesn't matter because this description is going to be just stored in the local wallet so, but I, I can write that some some sats to be able right and i can send all the sats that i have right i'm quickly going to uh, make it full screen so that we can see it very clearly right and i can just pay so when i click on pay it it uh, of course ask me that how much will be the fee rate and i can set it from eat uh, from mempool and you know there is this uh, wonderful website called mempool.space if i just go to mempool.space right now right so you will be able to see that it gives a very good approximation as to how much you need to spend for your transaction to be included in the very next block and you can see that low priority medium priority and high priority pretty much all of them are same high priority is four sats per virtual byte and i can just choose to have that or i can just make it a little less and you know now it's uh, i think two two sat per virtual byte which is pretty good and i can just send so it it now does that signing transaction so you can see the sequence of events that happened right so so it created the transaction over here and it has a description over here right and it's still unpaid and it it asks me to confirm the transaction on my ledger device so if i if i show you the uh, ledger device now so it's it's now asking to review the output right so i can review the output and it says how much the how much the amount is and you know i can just see the address again this will be blurred for kyc reasons 
and I can just accept it, right? So this is how I accept, and then I have to confirm the transaction, and it says that this much, uh, this is the amount of fees, and I can just accept and send. So once I just did it, it it said it said that the payment was sent, and you know, this is the transaction that that's happening, right? So it's still unconfirmed, right? So I can just go and I can just click on the details, right? So yeah, I mean like that's pretty much how you create a transaction, right? Uh, at the end, it, it did show the, the specific transaction ID, but I believe you can see it on history also. Yeah, and I can just go and view the transaction. This is the transaction ID and you know, I can just go to mempool.space and paste the transaction ID to find out that this is the transaction, which is pretty great, right? Yep. So there is only one input and one output, which is the intention over here. And if I just go into my wallet quickly and if I just see, so if I just refresh also, probably it should show up, right? and it just have it just happens to have an origin payment right a pending origin payment so guys that's how you make a transaction happen using a ledger device and electrum actually electrum allows you to do much more than what ledger life allows which is why electrum is really a great wallet and we can delve into deeper if you are interested in the next video let me know how it was and yeah see you soon bye